When I think back to how we first arrived in this country on the President Cleveland in steerage with one suitcase for the family, my mother uh, having to work so hard as a single parent, I learned from her that one person can make a difference. And I think that that has really been one of my guiding uh, principles, that we each can make a difference and that I can give back in some way. I just didn't know that politics and running for office was the way I was going to do that. While I was at the University of Hawaii, I became friends with uh, activists. We were involved in protesting the Vietnam War. She led me to work in the legislature and decided that as a woman particularly, if I wanted to stay in the political arena, uh, I should get more credentials and that meant going to law school. I first ran for office in 1980 for the Hawaii State Legislature and before I ran though I had already been involved in running other people's campaigns for a decade. Doing what I do now in the United States Senate and um, earlier when I was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives. I could not have picked a better law school to attend than Georgetown. All that it represents and the long history of uh, Georgetown graduates at the law school who have made contributions in the public arena. As the first Asian woman ever to serve in the United States Senate, I think that diverse voices are really critical. Throughout my political life, I've taken risks. I've gone down a path that's a lot harder. You have to be willing to take a risk, to put yourself out there, ask total strangers to believe in you and vote for you. Lawyers and politicians have a unique ability to be advocates. And part of that is a commitment to public service. That's my belief, and I'm glad that I went to a law school that puts that value front and center.